Hello everyone, I'm Dr. Neha Gupta from Medieval Fertility. Today we will talk about what is polyp. So when we talk about an endometrial polyp or a uterine polyp, what does it mean? Polyp are benign growths which are there in the uterus which can happen uh, because of hormonal changes. So uh, if we see this model, this is our uterus, this is our cervix, this, that's the vagina. These are the fallopian tubes and these are the ovaries that we have. Now what you see here, the thing which is hanging here in the cavity, that is called as a polyp. So polyp are benign growths which can happen because of hormones, hormonal imbalance. So when we have higher estrogen levels in our body and there is no pregnancy, these polyps or outpouching of the endometrium can be there but polyps cannot be treated medically so if we see any polyp which can be diagnosed by ultrasound or MRI then these polyps need to be removed if you are planning pregnancy if there are multiple polyps or if there is a single polyp but it is inside the cavity and it is not at the lower pole we can remove it by a simple surgery called as hysteroscopic polypectomy which is a daycare procedure we call you in the morning we admit you we give you short anesthesia and with the help of a scope we insert the scope here and we cut the polyp and remove it this polyp we send for histopathology and find out what is the type of polyp that it is Sometimes polyps can also turn into malignancy. So if your age is on a higher side and you are having recurrent polyps, we should always keep uh, uh, this thing in mind and we should always do histopathology for this polyp and uh, whatever is the problem, we should there are treatments, there are medicines and injections to make sure that these polyps don't come back. So if you have any uterine polyps, what are the symptoms that you will be having? So sometimes the polyps get unnoticed. There are no symptoms that the patient has. So it could be an asymptomatic polyp which is just picked up on a routine ultrasound. Sometimes because of polyp there can be menorrhagia, there can be excessive bleeding during periods or if there is a cervical polyp, the polyp which is there at the uh, mouth of the uterus. So in that case the patient can come with post uh, um, uh, you know intermenstrual bleeding or post coital bleed where after sexual relationship the patient complains that there is bleeding that is happening or once the periods are over in between between the bleeding is happening. So if you have any of these problems, you should always go in for a good transvaginal ultrasound and a good examination by your gynecologist and find out if there is an uterine polyp. Especially if you're trying for pregnancy, be it a natural pregnancy or IUI or IVF treatments, if we see an intrauterine polyp, we must remove it because if the implantation happens on the polyp, if the baby comes and sticks here, the chances of abortion is high. So if you have any doubts or any questions regarding polyp, we will be very happy to answer. Thank you so much.